Hey everybody, so today I noticed that one of that the super cheap brush review video got a lot of attention uh, Like a lot more than my other videos and I thought about why and realized Nobody's reviewing the cheap crap <laughs> so I Collect brushes as you can see these are just the ones that I've kept um, I if I see a brush that's dirt cheap, that looks like it might have promise, I buy it because you never know, right? And it might turn out to be a decent brush and then I got a good backup for, you know, not, because a good brush costs 50 bucks at least and it's just ridiculous. And if I can find one cheaper than that, hey, let's waste my money instead of yours, right? So the last one that I did was this Hermonas or whatever. I got it for like five bucks, turned out to be excellent. If a little small, but that's okay. Um, you can see I have some Secret Nail Affair, some Valentino, some Panna. Um, I, I collect brushes. I love my brushes. So, I figure, let's do it. Let's order all the cheap ones and we'll waste my money instead of yours. And you guys can know whether or not to uh, waste your money on it. So, next in the line, and these are just my good brushes, guys. Seriously, there's a lot more. Uh, next in the line is Model 1s. Uh, now, <laughs> let me be clear, me and Model 1s are not the best of friends. I've had some issues with their customer service department. Not a big fan, that's okay. Um, they do have some good products. Uh, that's, you know, I'll give them credit where credit's due. Um, I did already break this one and get the starch out uh, just so that, you know, I could be ready to go. Uh, you guys all know how to do that by now. Now, I am gonna say, you can tell by the feel that it's sable. Um, I don't know that it's all sable because it's not behaving like it's 100% sable. So it may have some nylon in it, maybe 10, 20%, but it is mostly sable. And you can tell by the way that it feels and the way that the hair is different colors, things like that. Now, you can also tell by the way it's soaking up the monomer, the way it's darker at the tip, as opposed to the barrel of the brush. Um, so it is at least mostly sable, which, hey, I got this one on sale for 10 bucks. It's a size 12. Uh, all of their brushes were on sale, but even when they're not on sale, it's like 15 bucks. And I'm telling you right now, I did not have high hopes for this. Uh, I was positive it was gonna be crap. Now, to be fair, um, if something that I buy is garbage, I typically don't show it, you know? I don't wanna get in trouble and there's really no point in it. So if I'm showing it, it's at least somewhat usable um, so I've decided because a lot of people you know have been asking questions about this kind of stuff I am going to buy the cheap crap on Amazon and I'm gonna show you what's worth buying and what's not I'm gonna do a whole long series I'm gonna buy those cheap acrylic kits um, the cheap you know monomer whatever and we're gonna see what's worth and what's not right now, don't forget, I have a surprise giveaway coming up in one of my coming videos this week. I am going to tell you the secret code word and the first person to comment in the comments and to comment the secret code word, sorry, um, wins a nail art goodie bag for me. It's gonna have stamping kits, glitters, uh, gel polish, things like that. So uh, full cover tips, whatever I can throw in there. Some art brushes, who knows. Um, I got a lot of crap here, guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. I do like the handle. It's actually, surprisingly, it is very similar to the other cheap acrylic brush that I got. Uh, it looks exactly the same, same glitter, same basic setup. I will say this is the second one that I got. The first one showed up, it was completely detached right here and there was liquid leaking out. However, I contacted them and they sent me a replacement right away. Uh, no questions asked, so that was cool. Had a much better time with customer service this time, uh, probably because I brought through I bought through Amazon, but whatever. All right, so let me grab some acrylic really quick. Ooh, I'm gonna use my new stuff, my Trop Exotic. I just got this stuff today and I love it. So we're gonna try it out. I don't wanna waste it, but it's so pigmented and it's so easy to see on camera, so we're gonna use it. <clears throat> so at first glance, the brush is in pretty good shape. There's not a bunch of wild hairs. Um, as you can see, it's it's it took a really good shape. Um, monomer is gonna melt this. 
It's gonna make it all foggy. Uh, it does that with any, any brush that has paint on it. A way to avoid that is to cover it in clear top coat. That will protect it from getting all foggy like that. That's what I did to this one and it cleared it right up because it was super foggy. I do that to all my brushes because they get really foggy. Now, let's check it out. So, it is holding a good amount of monomer and it's releasing the monomer properly the way it's supposed to. Um, with nylon brushes, you don't get that. Uh, it, it either won't release it and it'll stay soaking wet which makes the acrylic stick to the brush and ruins the brush. Uh, nylon will not release that liquid the way it's supposed to to keep the acrylic off the brush. However, Sable does, which is why we buy Sable. All right, so let's pick up a good... Now this is a size 12, so it should pick up a pretty good size bead. Not amazing, but doable. And it is beading up properly. I showed you on the other video how it takes, how when it's a nylon brush, the beads are super flat. It's releasing properly, wiping properly, like the acrylic's coming off pretty easily without a problem. Now this acrylic is super pigmented, so it's gonna look a little dry. It's supposed to be that way, so, you know. I will say it's cleaning, okay, that's the other sign that it's stable is that it's coming off, the acrylic is coming off of the bristles with no problem. That's what you wanna watch out for. Now, would I, prefer this over, say, my Panna or my Valentino brush? No. But for $10, it is an excellent backup. Now, and that's coming from someone who does not care for Model 1s. They actually blocked me on their Facebook page for leaving a bad review. <laughs> I am not allowed to comment on anything on Model 1's page. Go figure, right? So don't trust the reviews because they hide any bad ones. Well, not on Facebook anyway. They can't really do that on Amazon, but I will say I do not mind this brush at all. It is a decent backup. Now I'm gonna do the other side of the swatch stick so we can see how well it, uh, see how smooth it lays, because that's what you want. You don't want one that's gonna leave grooves. And that's the other issue with the nylon brushes is when it holds that acrylic, you can't get a nice smooth application because it's going to leave grooves and everything because it's holding that acrylic inside and that acrylic is leaving grooves in the other acrylic and picking up acrylic. It's a vicious, nasty cycle. All right, so let's lay it down. Oh, let's move that. So far, so good. Like there is absolutely no acrylic left in the brush. It's completely clean, which I'm impressed. It's a lot better than I expected. My hands are a little bit shaky today, so bear with me. Now remember, this is my super pigmented acrylic, so it's not gonna look, it's gonna look a little dry, which that's normal. My application is trash this week. I had a little 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 issue and it's making my hand shaky so don't mind me guys so far so good like clearly the brush can't compensate for me but that's all right it's still picking up pretty good beads still not clogging the brush which i'm cool with that and it's allowing me to walk it up And it's smoothing out pretty well without leaving a ton of grooves or anything like that. Yeah, so not bad at all. Um, definitely want to make sure that you train it uh, just like you do with any brush. And I uploaded a video today on that. Too. So, yeah, see, I'm just now getting acrylic in there, but that's on me. I keep wiping them. <laughs> I wipe the wrong side. But it came out pretty easily. So all in all, I think it's an excellent backup brush. Um, 
I probably wouldn't use it as my front, you know, my first string, but, you know, if you're training your brush or, you know, waiting on a new brush or whatever, this is an excellent backup. As you can see, did a pretty good job. And that's coming from a someone who is not a fan of Model 1s, but, so, yeah. And I, like I said, I don't think it's 100% Sable, but it's enough. It's enough to do the job. And that's how they keep the cost down because Sable is super expensive. So if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe as it helps me out and it helps the videos get, you know, show up in the searches and stuff better so we can share what we know. And as always, thanks for watching.